With the RNG Ally being out for a few weeks now, a lot of people ask me to say, yo, don't you own the Steam Deck? You regret it. The RNG Ally has a better screen, it's faster, and 120 hertz. But here's why I think the RNG Ally is worse than the Steam Deck. Valve earns Steam, and Steam makes a lot of money. And Asus makes hardware, which means that they only get paid when you buy the hardware, which is the reason why I think the Ally 2, and they might forget about the Ally 1. Valve has stated that they don't have plans to release a Steam Deck for a few more years. Now, the second thing is customization. The Steam Deck's customization is elite. You can change the boot logo. Yes, now the screen is 1200 by 800p. Yes, it's only 60 hertz, but it's not too bad of an issue. And also emulation is alive and well on the Steam Deck. Playing games on the Steam Deck has been fantastic. Now, yes, it can't run every game in ultra settings. At the moment, I'm playing Final Fantasy at high settings. And I'm getting 30 to 40 frames, which is, to be honest, it's not bad. So I had a desktop mode because it runs like on Linux. You know, it's a computer. So you can plug in a USB-C to HDMI and you can plug it to a screen. If you have an AK screen, which I don't think most people have, but if you do, it can go off the AK. The RG Ally and the INEA 2, they do use Windows 11, but you know, Windows 11 doesn't work too well on the handheld devices, so... Windows 11 does have its benefits. They're able to use EA Play, Epic Games, and all those other type of game launches. Now you can do it on the Steam Deck, but it's a lot harder to do, and sometimes it doesn't even work, because to be honest, it's not supported on the Steam Deck. You gotta find a workaround. I have a PC, so... <laughs> I guess it's not really an issue for me. But for the ones that don't, it may be the Steam Deck isn't really for you. Maybe go for the RG Ally. And that's why I think 